Hi, welcome to Beer 30. I'm Greg. And I'm Josh. And we've got a beer. What's it called? This is from Yellow Hammer Brewing Lost Highway Black Lager. Lost I, Highway. I believe this is the first black lager I've ever had. We, uh, we're we're up. we don't drink too many lagers. No? Only in this uh, ale. You know? Yeah. This is one, uh, thanks to Molly, she brought it back from her trip to Alabama. Alabama. And um, she got that from Huntsville. Yeah. And uh, this was recommended to her. Because she went to one of those beer shops and they recommended a lot of beers. So hopefully, we'll be good. Yeah. Well, it poured nice. It is dark. It's it is dark. really dark. And, uh, more, it looks like a roasted kind of nutty mess. Yeah, smell a little bit. Yeah, it's roasted. Yeah, a whole lot of aroma there. Huh? It's like unique. Yeah, immediately different. Wow, it's got a lot. Wow. I was thinking. It's kind of, and what can I describe this as? It's a, it's a little sweeter than I expected. It's a lot, like, well, it says on, on here, it says, uh, it's a blend of uh, incorporated German malts and dark roasted wheat malt that lend a smooth, rich character without the harshness associated with most dark beers. And that's kind of what I was, I mean, I didn't even, know what to expect but it's really like smooth yeah very smooth <laughs> very tasty um lost highway wow i'm really impressed yeah i uh so we only got one of these right <laughs> sorry that's all we got <laughs> you know yeah when you get a bunch of nick that's the one problem yeah. that when you buy a mix pack out of town you should probably get like two of each, you know? Yeah. Because you get that one, you're like, oh crap, I wish I had another one of those, yeah. you know? This is one that I would definitely like to have more of, and I wonder if they are available in our area. I'm guessing they're probably not, because I have never seen it. I remember uh, when we were down in Gold Shores a couple of years ago, uh, we got something from Yellow Hammer. Yeah. Uh, it was an IPA. Yeah. yeah. It was really good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll have to see if there's any way we can get some more of this. Yeah, uh, yeah, I bet there's ways. <laughs> if anybody knows ways, let us know. Yeah. Uh, so, what I, man, you know what? It's almost like a, it's, it's almost got like a, a buttery smooth sort of. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like you said, it's it's very unique. It's. I'm getting more of a sweetness. Yeah. Uh, I just want to think like a aroma now. Mm -hmm. I really like this. A plus. A? Wow. Yep. You don't throw out, you know, mm -hmm. you throw out the A's every once in a while, but an A plus? That is really good. This is really, really That's insane. insane. I feel like a lot of times we have things that are very similar to something else or very close to something else. Or, you know, it's just similar styles. This is, I mean, I've never heard of a black lager before. Maybe I just haven't paid attention, but I'm pretty sure that I have it. Well, maybe it's mm -hmm. one of your new favorite uh, wow. type of beers. I think so. Maybe next beer we brew, you, you black lager. You can't, black we lager. can't brew a lager though, Greg. That's a different process. That's why we do ales. Ales, an ale, or a porter, or a stout. It's gotta stay at like, that's the whole, it's a complicated, like, you gotta keep it like 50 degrees the whole time. Hmm. We could do it, but it would be. We gotta look into it. Yeah. You gotta look into it. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna have to get an A. I don't think it's, I don't think it deserves that plus at the end. Okay. But it is really good. And. Yeah, I really don't have much to say. Uh, that, that really, uh, that's really, really good. Yeah. All right. All right.
I hope I hit the record button. Okay, me too. <laughs> well, at least we got a little bit left in case we gotta do this again. I did. Yay! <laughs>